Hey guys, how is it going? Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, it's been a really, really awesome uh, day today. And I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you after I got these two cameras here. And um, it's, it's just been a really f uh, wonderful experience just learning about these cameras. Now to start off, these cameras are practically identical. Uh, they, they're practically identical. There is literally no difference between them except for the lens which I have changed here. Yeah, this is an original OM lens uh, and I will explain why I put a different lens on this camera versus the automatic lenses that these cameras came with. I will explain there's a good reason for that. So. Um, when I got these cameras, I was actually quite worried because um, this one seemed to work just fine, okay? The shutter speed, every time I get these cameras, I listen out to the shutter speed. Uh, I change the settings I in the dark, in the light, and then try and see if, if the cameras are compensating adequately and if the shutter speed that it suggests, especially because this is an automatic camera, it was suggesting some shutter speeds, like if it's 1 1 60th of a second, I sort of know how fast it should sound. If it's uh, 1 1 15th, I know it should be a little slower. I, I After using film cameras for so long, my ears have become accustomed to, to the speed and how it sounds. So anyways, so this one, I noticed that it was performing pretty, pretty fine. Right, so I wasn't too concerned about this. However, this one here, which is practically identical, except for the fact that I, I guess they made these two cameras for different regions in the world. So this one here, the OM-707, it was just acting weird. Anytime I had the back opened, it would shoot just fine like the shutter speed would actually be in sync and seem to be okay but the moment i closed the back it would it was start acting weird like it was shoot and then stop like it would fire and then stop and then all of a sudden it would close <laughs> and uh so i was getting shutter speeds in ter like in two seconds or one second when it should be like one one sixtieth of a second and that really rattled me all night so i was really concerned about it if there's anyone out there that knows if you're familiar with that issue uh, please let me know in the comments to this video but I read the manual that actually came with this camera and I I don't usually read the manuals to be honest <laughs> but this case I actually read the manual and um, I realized that um, what was happening and I discovered that the hard way so what was happening was that um, the, the camera was somehow defaulting to the smallest aperture even though it was actually metering my compositions well, it was defaulting to the smallest aperture every single time. For these cameras, one feature that is really awesome is that you can toggle between several options and you will see the different combinations of aperture and shutter speed display over here. But for this camera, even though it would display maybe aperture 4.5, it would always default to f22, which would be in effect the smallest aperture size. And that really, really rattled me. I didn't know exactly what it was, what was going on, but I figured out that it was most likely um, just a secretary issue. Some of these cameras have not been used for a very long time and oftentimes all you need is a little bit of condensation, a little bit of issues with the secretary and before you know it's not working appropriately. But however there was one little gem that I discovered in the manual and it said that if you replaced the lens, that is these special lenses that were made for the camera, right? I showed the, these lenses in the last video. If you replaced these automatic lenses with a normal uh, Olympus lens, like this one here, and this is the Olympus um, OM system 
uh, that is a 1.8 f 1.8 and that's a Zwicko I guess it's pronounced Zwicko um, if you replace those lenses with that because these lenses don't have the automatic uh, drive system in them as the other ones do what's gonna happen is that the camera defaults into an aperture priority mode camera so the camera is basically reading your aperture setting from the top here and then it will set the shutter speed accordingly and I was like whoa that is amazing that actually perfectly solved all my problems so now because I had a couple of these lenses sitting around there in my cabinet all I had to do was replace the lens on this camera with an Olympus OM lens and with that done I can actually adjust my aperture and the camera uh, also automatically sets the shutter speed for me. I mean what could be more perfect than that? So, te so technically I have an aperture priority mode uh, Olympus camera with an Olympus original Olympus lens on it and you can imagine how happy I am because these lenses are excellent and they produce excellent quality images. So that's it. That's it. Now that I talked about images, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So I have this camera, this one. When I was testing this camera yesterday, I was just basically walking around the house. I wasn't sure um, if this camera was going to give me any good images. I mean, it sounded okay in terms of the shutter speed, but I still wasn't sure, right? I wanted to see if this camera actually works. Um, because the person that sold this camera to me, these cameras were advertised as as is. He said that he hasn't tested them. Um, um, he said, you know, as is. So anything could be good, it could be bad. So I decided to put, put it to the test. This one, because this one was working at that time, I decided to put it to the test and I'm happy to report that this camera gave me some fabulous images. So what I did yesterday, I went around the house taking some images and then I developed the roll of film right in the night because I was so excited. I couldn't wait to see the images and I'm happy to show you guys images from the Olympus OM 77 AF camera. And at this point, I will show the images right here. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at those images and I uh, must say that I am a very happy man now that I have these two cameras with me. I have extra lenses that you can see right there in the background there and um, I have an aperture priority mode camera. I have a, a perfectly a program mode uh, camera here in, in case of this one and I'm so happy to really explore explore the features on these cameras and in the future I will be taking these cameras for a spin and I will share all the goodness and all the images with you guys so I'm glad you guys joined me and if you like this video please click the like button below and if you have not already subscribed please do click the subscribe button. As always guys, I really appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.